She's justifiably proud of her Lamborghini collection, especially two concept cars and a one-off orange Countach. But they're not what she drives. She mostly drives her pair of Huracans. Hi and welcome back to the channel and this series where we showcase some of the cars from my garages. This week we are featuring a pair of Lamborghini Huracans. The blue and orange one you see is an STO or Super Trofeo Homologato. And the violent coloured green one is an Evo rear wheel drive. In game it's the Pegasi Tempesta. There's quite a few detailed differences between the Tempesta and the Huracan. I won't bore you by reading them all out but you can compare the photos as they go by with the cars. These cars are at the peak of the Huracan range. The Evo, 600 odd horsepower, rear wheel drive, no four wheel steering, very pure sports car. And the STO is the road going evolution to the track only Super Trofeo. It's very similar in the engine department to the Evo, but it's about 90 odd kilograms lighter and it's more suitable for track use so it has the roll cage and the other aerodynamic addenda that you may expect on a car like that. Now she loves them both but she has to choose which one to drive on any given day. So it tends to be the green one, the Evo, to drive round town because believe it or not that gets just a little bit less attention. Then if she's going to do some track work or go for a drive out in the countryside of an evening, she takes the STO. In game the Tempesta drives really, really nicely. You may be aware that most Huracans are in fact four wheel drive and so is the Tempesta in game for all I may have modelled it after a rear wheel drive car. Now that split with most of the power to the back but a bit to the front gives the car some incredibly secure handling on the road. So tail out moments are there but they're very rare and it just comes back online really, really quickly. The acceleration on the car is great and it's all accompanied by, I think, a really nice noise. That said, if you nip on to YouTube and play some videos of a Huracan, especially uh, an Evo or something driving along, you may feel a bit shortchanged by the Tempesta's noise. Okay, so it's a great car on the streets. What's it like on the track? I did 10 laps on the track and that was plenty. The car is pretty easy to drive on the track. So barring accidents, most of my laps were fairly similar. This one halfway through in fact was the best time, which you can see on the top of the screen was a little over 54 seconds. With the good braking, the acceleration and the grip and the ability to ride the bumps very well, the car was no trouble at all, as I say, around the track. If you force me to describe the track performance in just one word, which is most unlike me, I think I'd use the word forgiving. My time around the track was about two seconds longer than the Emirates and the Krieger, and when you look at Bruffy's proper testing tables, he had a quite similar result, being about two seconds longer than the Emirates and the Krieger. This puts the car in 13th place for the supercar class, and that's excluding the HSW cars, which on PC for me certainly are no effect anyway. Okay, a very quick run through the customization. If I don't show it, it's stock and the performance parts are to maximum on both of the cars I have. For the green one, the Evo, almost everything is left stock anyway, just needs some xenon lights. I use lime green paint, lime green pearlescent and lime green secondary. 
sports skirts, and then the wheels were from the track class Forged Star, painted in black, and a light smoke on the glass. There's a bit more for the Super Trofeo Amalagato, so the custom carbon splitter, roll cage and chassis upgrade, the carbon high performance hood, xenon lights. I went for an ultra blue paint with a diamond blue pearl and an orange secondary. The street skirts, they gave the little winglets that uh, look like the ones on the real car. And the carbon wing type two is quite a close match. For the wheels, I went again into the track category, but this time the modern mesh painted black. I did make a mistake. I have no tinted glass on the car because I used to have the car as a Super Trofeo race car. But of course, this is a road car and it should have tinted glass and I will change mine. And for a bit more inspiration, here's how it appeared last year in my garage video as a Super Trofeo. As she heads off for an evening thrash in the STO, it's time for us now to rate the vehicle. For looks, I'm going to give it four stars. I'm taking a star off because it has some massive vents at the back for the mid-engine. When you look at an actual Huracan, the vents are a lot smaller. For me, it's the biggest visual difference. There's loads of small ones around the rear, especially, and a few at the front grill. But uh, yeah, four stars. It's a very good looking car. For driving, I'm also going to go four stars. It's actually pretty much a five star car to drive. It's a really good car to drive. and If you have one, you'll really enjoy it. But I generally always take a point off if the car is not competitive in the class. And I would say this is only competitive if you're really against drivers who don't know what they're doing. Moving on to value for money. The car is 1.3 something million and it's quite a lot of money. It's perhaps uh, on a par with the class average, I would say. But I can't help but notice when I look at Bruffy's tables that the Zentorno, which is the Lamborghini Sesto Elemento, phenomenal vehicle, is about half the price of this and is pretty much the same performance. So if you were only going to buy one Lamborghini, then I'd probably be pushing you towards the Zentorno. But assuming you're having a collection or whatever, this is a great car. I'm going to give it four stars for value for money. So by some strange quirk of fate, this is actually a all four star car, same as the one for last week. The showcase was a viewer request, so Strix, thank you so much. I really enjoyed the chance to get these two vehicles out of the garage and give them a bit of exercise. If there's a vehicle you would like me to test, then please put it down in the comments. There will be a bit of a delay. You may have seen the channel announcement that I'm going to stop doing any other videos until I've got the 2022 garage tour done. But that said, I still need some ideas for when I come back to doing showcases. It's time to say goodbye to the sun and she's got to say goodbye to her STO because it's the end of the video, I'm afraid. But I hope you found it entertaining, useful and above all, thank you so much for watching.